Jordi here for Cinecam and welcome to this tutorial video in which I'm going to show you how to work with the brand new 3D navigation tools in Adobe After Effects. In collaboration with Adobe, I've made an animated short in which I adventured through an illustrated video game. The project was built out of 2D vector images that were offset on the Z-axis to create a 3D environment. Now with the new navigation tools, it went super good to build out my scene. In the top toolbar, you'll find three new navigation tools for the 3D workspace. We got the Orbit tool, which allows us to rotate around, the Pan tool to move the camera sideways or up and down, and finally the Dolly, which brings the camera closer or further away. Now, when we create a new camera, those tools will affect the position of that camera. If you would just like to look around in your scene, we're gonna have to disable the camera for a moment. You can now also move around and it will not affect the camera. So that's gonna be your workflow. You wanna go back and forwards while building out your scene. And as we're doing that, you'll see a new control when selecting a layer. From here, we can move the selected layer on the Y axis, the X axis, or the Z axis. I would always recommend using these tools and not just click and drag your entire layer as you don't know where it will end up. So always make sure to use these arrows. Now on top of that, we can now also rotate a whole lot easier as every axis has a rotation circle to help us with that. And finally, we also have a scaling tool for every axis. So you can now stretch the clip in any direction or hold down shift to scale the entire layer equally. Now going back to the camera controls, it's often a struggle to navigate through your scene. Well, under every tool, we can now find different ways the rotation, the panning or dolly should behave or around which point they center. But the way that I would usually work is by selecting the layer that I wanted to work on and then use the orbit tool. Your rotation point will now be the selected layer. And the same thing goes for panning and traveling. If you ever messed up and you don't know where your layers or camera view is at, you can always go to the menu, select view, and from here choose reset 3D view. Now interesting is that through the same menu, we can find on top new viewer. This will open up the same composition viewer. However, we can set the view on the bottom from active camera to camera. And this gives us a window where we can see the builder view as I like to call it, and also one through the camera, which we have disabled at the moment. So that works very well together, as you can see in real time what is changing. And basically, these are the tools that I've been working with that really helped my workflow, and I hope that it also will help you a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the playlist in the description down below where you can find more tutorials and also the final video that we've made game over. So definitely make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.